Now we can create another rule for the bottom global nav bar. Again, select Tools, CSS Editor. Again, uncheck Expert Mode and select Rule. This is going to be another class rule, and we're going to call this one Bottom Global, except we're going to abbreviate and put in BTM and then NAV for nav bar. Create Style Sheet. Now you'll notice another rule has been cascading off of our style sheet. We're going to change the text again to predefined and Times New Roman. We're going to change the font size this time to 10 points as the majority of bottom global navigation bars are very small text because they have all the links for the page. Under background, we're going to keep it the same. We're going to select here and then use last color picked. If you don't have that, the last color was A, 2A, 5A, 4. Select OK. Then under borders, we're going to leave unchanged. And box, we're going to leave unchanged. Back under text, we need to change the alignment to centered. Select close. If this comes up on your page, it's just an error with end view. Your page has not been changed yet. Selecting inside our third row, we need to select the TR. That's going to select the entire row. It's not the TD this time because we don't have this row split into multiple cells. Then coming up to our navigation bar, select BTM nav. That will apply the formatting we want for this one. Go ahead and select save. I'm going to hit control S. Now to show you that this is not a problem, I'm going to close out and open in to my page again. As I open my page, you can see that it's properly formatted now. And now we're going to create another CSS rule called Banner. Select Tools, CSS Editor, uncheck Expert Mode, and select Rule. We're going to call this rule Banner. Then select Create Style Rule. You'll notice here another rule has been cascaded down. The only thing we need to change with this one is the background color. We're going to put this as the crimson that IEP uses. Select here, come down, and we're going to put in the hexadecimal code. The crimson color is pound sign 9E1B32. Select OK. Select Close. To apply our rule, we're going to come up here to where our graphic is. We're going to select the TR tag, which is going to be the entire row. Again, noting the graphics glitch over here with EndView. This does not have anything to do with our page. Everything will be fine. Then come up here to select Formatting, and we're going to select Banner. Now you'll notice that we have our crimson color. Now it's time to create one last rule for our bottom uh, footer area. Select Tools, CSS Editor, and again, uncheck Expert Mode. This time our rule is going to be called Footer. It is again a class rule. Select Create Style. Now we need to change the text. Again, our text is going to be predefined, Times New Roman. Our font size is going to be even smaller. Down to zero point, and we're going to select 8. We're then going to change the alignment to centered and the font weight to normal. The font style can either be left at normal or italics. I'm going to use italics. The font color is going to need to be changed because we have a mixture of links and regular text. Because our background color is going to be a darker color, with the crimson. We want to make this a lighter color text. Let's choose white. Select OK. Now we can put in our background color. Again, the background color is going to be the crimson. This might be in your last picked color. If it is, select it. If not, you'll have to type in the hexadecimal code of pound 9E1B32. Select OK. 
select close. Now it's time to apply our rule. Selecting inside here, select under TR. Once you've selected TR, go up to the formatting toolbar and select footer. Notice how the bottom footer will change. Now it's time to save. Go ahead and select Control S or File and Save. Congratulations, you've now finished the third tutorial.